Um, I'm excited. Uh, we're on an upwards trend right now, and I'm just excited to keep that rolling. What have you seen from Duke? Uh, from Duke, yeah, that you think, you know, might test the student next? Um, I mean, they have a physical O-line. Um, they're strong, sturdy. Um, and they're just, they're good. They know what their limits are, and they, they're good at what they do. It sunk in that senior day on Saturday? Yeah, just a little bit. A little sad. How, how, are, you, how are you anticipating that's going to go with emotions wise? Uh, I mean, I don't know, honestly. Um, it's still kind of hard to wrap my head around. Been here so long. Who's the most likely senior to maybe shed some tears? Uh, shoot, I'd probably say me, to be honest. When you were deciding whether you wanted to come back this year, go to the NFL, what kind of went into that decision, and you know, how do you feel about that decision now that you're, you're getting, approaching career highs in pretty much every category right now? Um, you know, kind of just what went into that decision was kind of just um, you know where I was at mentally, um, emotionally, and especially physically. Um, I just kind of felt like I wasn't ready, um, and you know, Coach Doran always says, "Don't pull the, the cake out half baked." Um, so I kind of just wanted to, you know, take some more time to just develop myself, and you know, I think it started to pay off. Is there some scouting that goes into how you can sack a certain quarterback? In this case, a guy who's probably over 240 pounds. Um, yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, bigger guys like that, you kind of want to hit low. Um, but I mean, in a way, no, not really, because you know, you want to go get ball anyway. So just kind of more focused on the whole line and how to beat them. What's it been like having your younger brothers here? Um, it's been amazing. Um, I couldn't ask for a better blessing than that. Um, it's been great every day being able to hang out and play football with him, you know, and spend more time outside of football. I know, you know, I'm sure he looks up to you, but what are some ways where you feel like you've learned from him? Um, kind of just, you know, his outgoing personality. Um, he's not really afraid to, you know, speak his mind and you know, whether that's holding people accountable or just, you know, just being social. Um, so kind of in that way, um, he's inspired me to be more social, be more outspoken. And kind of going off of that, you go to college, short drive from home. You know, you come from a big family, so I'm guessing you'll have folks in the stands to cheer you on. What has it meant going through this whole college experience with them, them so close by? Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, my mom, she was about an hour away, so, you know, I wasn't, too far to where they couldn't come to my games, but I wasn't so close where I was home every weekend. So it's kind of been the best best of both worlds, um, kind of been able to live, you know, that college experience while also having the opportunity to spend a lot of time with my family. So it's been great. Um, and it's especially going to be great having them out there on Saturday. What have you done differently this year to, to force five fumbles from years back? Um, kind of just the way, you know, training, the way I've trained, um, more detail specific. Um, kind of not just pass rushing on a dummy, uh, pass rushing with a purpose. Uh, just practicing those reps and practicing stripping the ball, being ball conscious. How has Coach Shavar helped you over the years and helped you grow as a player? Yeah, Shavar and Coleman, um, those are my guys. Um, they've helped me a lot, especially, you know, coming out of high school, my junior and senior year. I was training with them 24-7 all the time. Um, COVID was a little hard, but, you know, even during that time, we still got a little bit of training in, but... They really helped develop my hands um, and just, you know, helped me, you know, uh, I don't want to say perfect because perfect isn't really the right word, but, you know, just develop that, that knack for rushing the passing.